And as the U.S. economy's road to recovery slows, some industries are waiting on their own comeback, putting the debate over pandemic unemployment benefits front and center. From hotels to restaurants, there may be more customers, but there aren't always enough workers. We only had three people respond to our ads and none of them showed up. There are stories like this all over the country in a number of industries. Some have pointed to pandemic unemployment benefits as a possible deterrent. We're supposed to go hire people to retain them, but at the same time, you're paying unemployment. And now two states are cutting off those benefits early. Montana's governor made the announcement Tuesday with South Carolina's governor following suit Thursday, saying the benefits take away the incentive to go back to work. Other states could end up doing the same thing since taking part in pandemic unemployment benefits programs is a state decision. But a White House economic advisor says there are a number of factors playing into this labor shortage, including parents with kids still at home. It's still the fact that our schools are far from completely open. The virus is still upon the land. There's still hot spots out there. And we, we've yet to stand up the kind of child care uh, sector. And sometimes it's a matter of switching fields, like leaving the restaurant industry. Yelling at people to put on their masks is not what I want to do every day. For a nine to five. Whatever the reason, the chairman of the Federal Reserve says it won't last long. We'll come back to this economy where we have you know, equilibrium between uh, labor supply and labor demand. It may take some months. More than a dozen states, including Florida, recently brought back the requirement that the unemployed have to be looking for work if they want to get jobless benefits.